Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Inverse Overview. We have one of the kind on our hands, not necessarily in terms of the genre, but it's just the gameplay that I'm pretty sure we have not yet seen before. <laughs> but it's just that at this point, and also in my little VR career, <laughs> that's what I remember. Some say more horror stuff is better. I can't really digress. <laughs> So Inverse is a co-op survival horror game where as agents of the Foundation you quickly realized that their experiments in advanced teleportation definitely went wrong and you get to meet some lovely creatures that live behind it and your goal is to survive in a relentless attacks of the aliens. I already managed to play it since it released last week. I'm kinda torn apart on it because I don't know if I don't get it or the game is too behind with the features or the bugs really to fully enjoy the experience from what I saw what I touched and pressed it didn't really work well I'll give them that the ambience is very unique like pure horror like definitely not for me especially in this format that you can kind of fight back but in the beginning you're just running around trying to hide which is not my cup of tea whether you play it in co-op or alone but I only did it alone because I didn't even realize how to get into the actual multiplayer match the UI and the mechanics are kind of dated like stuck in the past there are no physics going on whatsoever which not every game has to have it but it would make more sense especially in terms of the locomotion going up and down jumping and that stuff this might be one of the cases where the multiplayer experience really enhances every aspect of the project which is kind of nifty if you rely on people playing the game because first you need to have them and that kind of went by as a stealth release so i'm not quite sure what the future is upon this i'm very much indifferent to it and I'm not looking forward to playing it more. It's kind of just like yet another release even though it has something special going on but maybe the execution is not what I would imagine it to be. Let's go catch some aliens! Greetings agent. I need you to grab your walkie talkie and respond to my message. Ew! <laughs> like the ambience. grip of the left shoulder. Copy that. I read you loud and clear. Thank you for reporting. Before we can let you out on the field, you will need to complete your initiation. Please insert the tape on the table into the VCR and watch until completion. What the hell? Oh my god, my hands are huge. It's like the retro feeling. Video training. Oh, no. Welcome to your field training. Rendezvous with the agents up ahead for your assignment. We will be in contact when your training is complete. So creepy. Jumping, sprinting, okay. I wouldn't say there are like physics per se. Sound decoy, syringes... I mean, I don't like this idea that I'm gonna be hunted. Do I have like more slots? Ah, let's just go. <laughs> Empty slot under utility belt. Well, yeah.
I didn't even touch it. But help wouldn't arrive in time. Listen, we need to get the weapon caches open if we are gonna survive this. Can you help my partner over there get the terminals back online? I would, but that creature took everything out of me. What creature? Okay, well, first of all, I need the locomotion to be proper. Nah, that's way better. What's this setting, anyways? Hello, can I interfere? I saw this in the tutorial, essentially just... What the? Like... It takes so much time. I guess I have my own panel. <laughs> Avoiding the null. Ew! Grab pistol from weapon vault. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> Oh, there goes my shield. Do I even have a flashlight or something? Like... Oh my god! What is this? It went upstairs. Uh, I think I heard him. <laughs> Okay, that was amazing. <laughs> you have completed the initiation. You are now approved for field work. Did I? Because <laughs> I did literally nothing. I go somewhere. I don't know where. Ah, it's like the weapon range. Jesus, this is so confusing. I think those are like chapters. <laughs> Lights out. Yeah, I don't know. Greetings, Agent. Facility 76 is currently offline, making it unbreachable by chaos control. Use the lockers and limited equipment at your disposal to bring the facility online. 
Am I with someone at least? Like... Is it saying she hide and seek? I hear footsteps and stuff, like, I'm not playing that. <laughs> I think I'll try the tutorial of the noon, like this monster thing. But like, it's just... No guidance, really. Arise. Humans have breached the portal. Prevent them from restoring power through the terminals, or simply kill them all. I mean, this is more comfortable, that's for sure. But it's just ill in general. <laughs> Oh my god, like... Oh shit, myself. <laughs> Hello? What just even happened? Let me in. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> My God. <laughs> so essentially my goal is to kill them all. I mean, this is much more simpler. Simple and straightforward. Where is he? Oh my god, they can scare me as well. <laughs> That would be free. Oh. It's so inconsistent. This victory is most delicious. Well done. <laughs> I don't know, mate. There's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, this is like a menu. I didn't see it being from here. Now that just makes more sense, but there's no time anymore. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, really, because the graphics are okay. Like, they're not overly amazing. This is like pretty much just a standard quest to stuff. The interactions are okay. Like, sometimes your hands can just do this. <laughs> and then the attacks, like this flying guy. I would definitely much more prefer to play as the monster cause not only it's because it's less scary but it's a simple task for a hunting season and to just destroy them all. Well with the survivors of course they're in the team and then they have the gadgets and stuff. It's definitely way more harder to survive because you need to know what's going on and the mechanics. 
I guess I would have to play a proper match, though this is a pure horror, like you're in certain locations, just unlocking doors and then traveling around. The flashlight would be pretty nice, though I didn't see it in the tutorial. Also those VR chests, like you very much have retro vibe, but it's kind of like stuck in the past with the features, if that makes sense. The idea is very much unique for us in VR. I think on Pancake it's been set and done already. So I would treat it as a niche horror subgenre that you might be interested in. 